In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth, and God saw it was good. Learn about magnetic birds. It's coming up next on today's Creation Moment. And now, here's our Creation Moment host, Ian Taylor. Most of us have heard a few of the theories which are offered to explain how birds are able to migrate for thousands of miles to an exact spot. The Arctic Tern migrates 22,000 miles a year to winter in the same spot it wintered in last year. In one study, scientists took a seabird called the Manx Shearwater from its nest on the coast of Wales to Boston and released it. The route back home across the featureless Atlantic is not a familiar one to the Shearwater. Yet, twelve and a half days later, the Shearwater showed up back at its nest, over 3,000 miles from Boston. The most dramatic research in recent years has led to the discovery that many birds have a small amount of magnetic material in their brains, which seems to act like a built-in compass to help them tell where they are and where they are going. But additional research has shown that birds usually use more than just one method to navigate. They also use the sun, the stars, changes in barometric pressure, low frequently sounds made by the wind and the sea, and even the odors. The bird's ability to navigate using only one of these methods would be amazing enough. But the fact that birds have several methods available to them is a testimony to their creator, who provided them with backup methods as well. If no detail of a small bird's need is too unimportant for his attention, imagine how much more he is concerned about the details of our lives. For a printed transcript of today's program, visit our website at creationmoments.com. Or call us toll-free at 1-800-42-BIBLE. And be sure to join us next time for another Creation Moment, proclaiming evidence of God's truth.